This episode is for business leaders who struggle to wake up at 5 a.m. or make their day productive near the beginning. Hello, everybody. My name is Tim B. Green, and this is Crush It Club, episode 82, Crush the Day. So are you a morning, afternoon, or night person? Please put your vote in the comments below. You've heard the saying, early to bed, early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. And it appears to be true, but it actually isn't. Let me modify this saying to something that is actually really true and explains why early to bed, early to rise seems to be true, especially because it's been repeated so much. Starting slow makes it hard to go. So this is what we call psychological momentum. So if you, after you wake up, you, you're lazy, you just don't do too much, you get up easy, you have a nice slow breakfast, you watch a little bit of TV, whatever it is you do in the morning to have a slow day, think about your, your weekends, your vacations, and how much you get accomplished. You don't need to accomplish much, but that is a two-way street. That is, if you start slow, it does become hard to go. And the reverse is also true. So that's what the psychological momentum is. is there's a, another bias called the status quo bias, which means we tend not to change things because change takes more effort than leaving it the same. Saves us, saves us cognitive energy, which is the same as saving energy in general because your brain is energy hungry, the most energy hungry part of your whole body. But the opposite is also true. That is, what I normally do, for an example, is when I wake up in the morning, I wake up at whatever time I wake up, and I'll leave that vague for now. And then I usually meditate for three quarters of an hour. So though that's the start of the day, that isn't when I start being active. Soon as I get up from my meditation, I am usually working or eating within minutes at most and sometimes seconds. That is, to crush the day, I start right away. And conversely, if you start lazy and slow, it tends to make it hard to, to rub up your day. But here's the thing. It's true that early to bed, early to rise, da, 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 is true if you're a morning person, if you have no other choice. But the truth is, uh, let me do my, my saying again, and that is start right away to crush the day. That is, once you're up and active, move to something productive, because what that gives you is the psychological momentum I already mentioned, but more to the point you get a sense of accomplishment. It feels good, so it becomes self-reinforcing, whereas the same is true for the lazy start, the slow start, the relaxing start. It's like, eh, kind of feel like I want to stay on this mode, and then that's natural. The problem is if you have to get up at 5 a.m. or 5.30 a.m. to get up early to early rise, it's true that gives you a time where there's no interruptions, but that's not the only time you can have no interruptions, which is one of the two components as to why that saying seems to be true. It's before the business day starts, so you're not interrupted. But you'll notice that all those people who say that, and there's a lot of famous ones who are convinced by this saying, they say, oh, well, you know, I get up and I, 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 I start something productive right away. There's where it is. They start something productive immediately once they get up in a time where they're not being interrupted by other things. Those are the two components you really need. It has nothing to do with what time you wake up. I, being an insomniac for basically all of my life, have learned a lot about sleep and sleep hygiene. Sleep experts say no alarm. So if you have to get up 
really early to start the day early to make your fortune, to lead your company to success, and you need an alarm, you did not get enough sleep. You either need to go to bed earlier so you can wake up with no alarm, or you're fighting your circadian rhythms. Now, circadian rhythms are sort of your natural sleep-wake cycle. And my own experience and my family's experience seem to be that it's built in and doesn't really change regardless of your work conditions. You need to work within your circadian rhythms to get the most out of your brain. So to give you an example of this, my uh, elder brother, Joel, I'm the youngest in the family, I asked him after having spent many years waking up extremely early for his job as a tradesman, do you ever, you know, have you ever become a morning person since you've spent so many years? And he goes, no. Nope. And I'm the same way. Even if I have to wake up really early in the morning, oftentimes I'm exhausted by afternoon. And then 11 at night, midnight, I'm awake. I can't get to sleep no matter what, no matter how little sleep I've had. That's the general natural circadian rhythm of myself. And the interesting thing is, I recently listened to a book. I can't verify this, but it seems that you approximately lose maybe seven IQ points, or so the book said, for, for missing a night's sleep or having um, subpar sleep. So there's a whole lot more than this, but just when your brain has not had a natural rest, one of the functions of sleep or one of the things that happens in your brain during sleep is not only are you recharging your neurotransmitters, but you are also breaking down and eliminating neurotoxins from your system. Both of these things are critical. In fact, your body does not need sleep. There's been research done that shows it's in fact your brain that needs sleep. Your body needs rest, but if you never slept, you'd be totally fine were it not for your brain's need for sleep. So to get the best out of your brain, forcing it to wake up when it's not ready is a bad plan. I understand that we know, don't always have the luxury. I don't always have the luxury either. But whenever you possibly can, run on your own circadian rhythm. So there's lots of times I'll wake up at late afternoon or even 5 p.m. and I feel great. And I get up and I'm immediately productive. I wake up with an alarm or without an alarm, sorry. And I crush the day almost every single time I can meet two conditions. One, waking up without an alarm. Two, after my meditation in this case, doing something productive immediately to get that psychological momentum going. Another thing that will help because productivity is based on knowing what action to take is to set a goal for it. So set a goal for trying to do this. If you can do this, great. If you can't, my heart goes out to you. But if you're the big boss, you should be able to arrange that even if it means going to a ROWE or results only work environment, which I'll talk about in another video. By the way, speaking of goal setting, Check out my checklist here. You can get that. I'll also put it in the description. But that's it for Crush It Club, episode 82, Crush the Day or Night. My name is Tim B. Green. Bye for now.